I've been waiting to say this for a long time. It's been a long time coming, guys. Yeah. 1980 has been waiting to say this for a long, almost three months. It's been a long time, guys. Here we go, guys! Monday! One down now! Four to go! Alright, guys! Oh, uh, wow! Man, I... <laughs> months off. It, it really has. It has been everything under the sun, everything that you can imagine if negative has happened. We don't even know if we're going to have a football season coming up. That, that's the that's the bad part. I mean, I, 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 I really do hope we have a football season. I, I seriously do, man. Um, Y'all know what's been going on with the COVID-19, coronavirus, whatever you want to call it, the Roni, whatever you want to call it. I call it the Roni. We've been all fighting this battle, man, trying not to get it. People still don't want to wear their damn mask. People out there just being disrespectful for no reason. People taking all this shit out on other people. People just ignorant out there, man. I mean, seriously, ignorant. Don't make no damn sense. So much been going on. It's been good to take a break, though. I, I can say that, man. Um, it's something that I have to do. I don't know about anybody else. But I got to take a break from the internet, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, you know, all that stuff, man. I just been doing it, been just chilling with the family. That's pretty much all I've been doing, man. Um, I, I haven't. You, you can't go nowhere. You know. You know. We've been a couple of places, but we always have a mask. Um, you know, the kids stay at home. You know. Um, but other than that, man, just really nothing, man. Just work and and um, work and come home. Grocery shop. You know, get a couple of things here and there that we need for the house. Uh, cutting the yard, you know, um, <laughs> that's about it, man. You know, just doing stuff around the house, man, and just, just chilling, man, just staying COVID free, trying to stay COVID free with the blessings of the Lord, you know. Um, we got football season coming up. We don't know if it's coming or not. Um, I, I, there's so much to cover. There's Dak Prescott. There's, there's training camp. Uh, just, just football alone. Like I say, well, like I've been saying over and over in this video, we don't even know if we're gonna have a season, man. And uh, that's the that's the sad part about it. Um, but everything that's been going on, everything that I just talked about, just now, this world needs football. It it really does. It really does, man. We need something positive to uh to 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 go on go along with this negative that's going on out in the world. Uh, you know, like I said, there's COVID-19, there's um, there's politics, there's racism, there's hate, there's hate being taught in the homes. It's just craziness. This has been the craziest year. No, 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 no. I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say the craziest year. I'm gonna say one of the craziest years I've witnessed in my lifetime. My lifetime. You know. In my 40 years, it, it just, it's been the craziest. And uh, like I always say, man, you got to stay prayed up. You got to stay cowboyed up because you just never know. 
you just never know what the day is gonna bring you. But anyway, guys, look, I know y'all tired of me, you know, running my mouth. I just gotta kind of catch up, man. Let you know what I've been doing, what I haven't been doing. Um, but uh, let me talk about. There's so much cowboy news out there. But 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 speaking of work, speaking of having to get up and go to work every day, let me talk about Demarcus Long. Let me talk about D-Law. Big time, highest paid defensive end for the Dallas Cowboys. Big time contract guy. Let me, let's talk about the hot boy, the leader of the hot boys. D-Law. Y'all know who that is, right? D-Law, D-Law, D-Law. Okay. Yeah, I read the article. I, 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 they were talking about it on the radio this morning and uh, running their mouths about it. And they were talking about D-Law debating, debating uh, uh, on if he was going to come to training camp or not. Because, you know, he's got a newborn. His wife, Sasha, is pregnant, and she's due in, around October. That's in the midst of the beginning of football season. Um, and um, he's debating. You know, I read the article, too, on ESPN. And he's debating on coming back, I mean, uh, going to training camp, which is, which now is understandable. Even for DeMar, even for D-Law, is understandable. Um, but I get it. I really do. I get it. Because COVID-19 has really taken over the world, whether you like it or not. Whether you get on here and think you hard, whether you go out in the world and think you hard, what do you cuss somebody out or beat somebody up or want to throw gang signs and do drive-by shootings and all that stuff? Whether you think you hard as hell, COVID-19 is harder, Jack. I promise you that. But COVID-19 has punked us all. Seriously, everybody wearing... If you haven't been punked before, you getting punked now. Like, seriously. <laughs> if you haven't got... If you was that bully in high school that thought you was bad, that was overweight and bigger than everybody and sloppy and, and slouchy and thought you could pump all the little guys and all that stuff, and, and now you get the, a dose of that medicine because COVID-19 has made bitches out of all of us. Well, what, we, we stand in the house, don't want to go outside, barely want to go to the grocery store and get something to eat, can't go to the movies, they done, they done canceled the State Fair of Texas, Gremlin Prairie View Classic. They probably gonna cancel the Texas OU game. They'll probably, they'll probably play that in, the, uh, in Jerry's world. But um, they canceling everything because we are being punked by COVID-19. So if you ain't been punked before, you getting punked now. I'm gonna say it for the last time right there. But anyway, guys, um, speaking of work, D-Law, want to hold, want not hold out, damn. <clears throat> want to, uh, Debating on if he wanted to go to training camp, which is understandable. I get it. Want to take care of your family. Want to watch out. Everybody's doing it. But guess what? 1980s getting up and going to work every morning. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Throughout COVID-19, 1980 has been getting up, going to work five days a week. You get me? I got to. My wife has been teaching and stuff from home, doing summer school and stuff like that. Uh, I've been punked, my wife's been punked, relatives have been punked by COVID-19. Now D Law is being punked by COVID-19. He, he, he don't even want, he don't even want to come to practice. He don't even want to come to training camp. Now, there's so many ways you can look at this. You can say these players are using this as, as an excuse. They just use it as an excuse because they want to come to practice. You know, but me being a, a regular old Joe Blow. Uh, a working stiff, nine to five, whatever you want to call me. Uh, I got to go to work to make ends meet, pay the bills, you know, help my wife out, yada, yada, yada. Y'all know that. Y'all know the story. Um, if D Law was a normal guy, he would get it, he would have to get his ass up every day and go to work. Bottom line, um, he got that big time contract, signing bonus, all that stuff. So he's able to debate. He has an argument. He has an alibi. You get what I'm saying? It's easy when you rich. I ain't rich. I'm comfortable, but I ain't rich. I still got to go to work. You know, I maybe can take some days off here and there, but that's about it. You know, I, I went on vacation or whatever. Uh, took a break from YouTube, you know, all that stuff. 
you know, that's about as good as it's going to get for 1980, you know. Uh, but when you rich, it's easy to be like, ah, you know what, I'm going to miss that. They done already gave you your money. You done already signed the contract. You get what I'm saying now? <laughs> so that that that's, I get what he's trying to do, but it's so easy to do that when you're rich and you're in the NFL and you've got one of the highest paid contracts in, in, the, in the NFL. You know, you're one of the highest paid players. Uh, but it's a debate right now. We don't know, you know. Um, they are trying, NFL is trying to set up a, a program to, to, uh, have players, you know, during training camp, maybe stay in a hotel and, um, you know, but you know, it, it's, it's so many things you can look at. Uh, uh, how are you going to stop players from, from, from contact and sweating on each other and shaking hands and Hey, good job, bro. And, you know, and, 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 you know, drills, tackling drills and, and, you know, passing drills, defensive, offensive drills, line, linebacker drills, offensive line drills. It's going to be so hard. And somebody's going to get it. It's going to happen. Hell, Zeke already got it uh, earlier this year, you know. So, um, you know, during our early, you know, about a month ago, two months ago or something like that. Uh, and some other players. So, uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how they're going to get away with this. How they're going to pull this off, this season off. Um, it's a tough one. It really is. It, it's really something to think about. That's why I'm kind of iffy about the football season. Um, it's going to be very interesting, man, because this COVID-19 is, is punking the NFL as well. So, But that's all I got, guys. That's all I wanted to talk about. You know, there's so much to talk about, man. I'll get into the Dak Prescott and what I think. I'm really tired of that shit. I'm really tired of Dak Prescott, the contract issue. Matter of fact, I ain't going to talk about it. <laughs> shit. I ain't going to talk about it. What, what's me talking about it going to help? I'm going to tell you right now, the next video, it's already made. I'm making it right now. Dak Prescott, what did 1980 think about it? I don't give a damn. How about that? Huh? Hmm? How about that? I don't care. I, everybody made all these bronies making videos. Oh, I think this and I think that. It don't matter. Dak gonna do what he gonna do. Jerry gonna do what they gonna do. I'm just tired of it. I'm ready to play some football. Let the past, it's time to let the pass do the talking. See, I don't run my mouth during the offseason because ain't nothing. It's the I think season. I think this is going to happen. Well, I think that's going to happen. Well, I think this is going to happen. I, I, I stopped that. That's why I take breaks, because I'm tired. 1980 get tired, too. And I'm getting old. I'm tired of this shit. But anyway, guys, make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up, because you never know what the dad's going to bring you. Hello, back at your boy. Thing else I got to say is, how about them cowboys? Yeah!